we fix our eyes on you today are we we fix our eyes on you whoa I worship you, I worship you. I worship you, I worship you, for you are worthy, you are worthy of all my praise and all my worship. Everything, everything unto you be all the glory, all the honor. Whoa. Better than you, oh, there's nothing better 
better than you, Lord. There's nothing, nothing is better than you, yeah. Oh, there's nothing that's better than you, oh, there's nothing better than you, Lord. There's nothing, nothing is better than I'm not afraid to show you my weakness, my failures and flaws, but you've seen them all, and still you call me friend, because the God of the mountains, he's the God of the valley. And there's not a place your mercy and grace won't find me again. Lord, there's nothing that's better than you, Lord. There's nothing that's better than you, Lord. There's nothing, nothing is better than you, yeah. Better than you, Lord, there's nothing. It's better than you, Lord, there's nothing. Nothing is better than you. Yeah. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. To show you my weakness. My failures and flaws. Lord, you sing them all, and still you call me friend. He's the God of the mountain. He's the God of the valley. And there's not a place your mercy and grace will find me again.
nothing is better than you, Lord. You're better than life. You're better, you're better, you're better, you're better, you're better. none beside you open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me and hold me there is no one there is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. Worthy every song we could ever sing. 
worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever bring. We live for you. Jesus, the only one who could ever say, worthy of every breath we could ever be, we live for you, we live for you, and we sing all, holy, there is no one like you, there is none beside you, open up. Wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me and holy. There is no one like you, there is none beside you. Open up my eyes in one. Sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever bring. We live for you. We live for you. Jesus, the name of every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever save. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you. Yeah, yeah. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes. Show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. And holy, there is no one like you, there is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show
to those around me and only there is no one like you there is none beside you open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me and I will build my life upon your love it is a firm foundation and I will put my trust in you alone and I ground is sinking sand, so I, I build upon the rock of ages, the one, the one that's not shaking when the storm, when the storm it comes and blows away all the rest, he is standing firm, the rock, the rock, so I build my life upon you, oh, I build my life upon you, oh, I build my life upon you. I build my life upon you, Yahweh.
this moment pass you by and enter in, enter in. This isn't about a feeling or the right sound or the right song. It's about worshiping the King. Isn't he worthy? Isn't he beautiful? Do you see his face? Isn't it beautiful? Ha! We love you, Jesus. You're so beautiful. Oh, how we love you. How we adore you. Oh, how I just want to acknowledge that this is a holy moment. And I want to let everybody know the altars are open here. If you want to respond to the Lord, if you want to kneel at his feet, however you feel to respond in this moment, but this is a holy moment. The altars are open.
I wish I could enter in like they are. Why can't I do that? I'm here to tell you it's not a feeling, it's not a song, it's a position. So we choose to ignore all of the distractions that would flood our minds right now in Jesus' name. And we position ourselves on the sea of glass. We position ourselves on the sea of glass. And we choose, regardless of how we feel, how we think, we position ourselves right now on that sea. And we worship you, Jesus. We worship you, King of kings and Lord of lords. So we position ourselves in front of the throne, God. And we worship from that place. Jesus. 
your presence, Lord. I find rest for my soul. And in the depths of your love, Lord, I find peace that makes me whole. In the glory. You deserve it all. 
and we give you the highest praise. You deserve it all. You deserve it all. And we give you the highest praise. You deserve it all. You deserve it all. You deserve it all. Be unto the one who is holding me up. Unto you, oh
It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. Let us never forget that it's all about you, Jesus. You're worthy of it all. So we pour our love and our affection, all of our devotion, we pour it out, extravagant love to the king of the universe, the only worthy one. He's the only worthy one. You can have all my attention. All eyes on the King. All eyes on the King of Kings. It's all about you, Jesus. Let's just keep our eyes fixed on the King here for just a few more moments. Pour your love upon him. Sing in your own words. Lift up your voices. Sing in the spirit. Let's just pour our love, extravagant love, upon the king. We lift up our voices to the king. Lift your sound before the king. Worship the king. Worship the king.
it's not about emotion. It's not about whether I'm feeling it. It's about is he worthy? Is he worthy? Worthy is the lamb. Worthy is the lamb. vision uh, during worship where I saw myself taking a crown and placing it upon Jesus' head. You know, that's what we all did when we put our lives in his hands at salvation. We put him on the throne of our life, but it's something that the Lord calls us to do again and again and again. We say, I make you the Lord. I make you the the king, I put you on the throne of my life over and over. You can have it all. You can have it all, Jesus. Nothing uh, that we hold back or reserve from you. So Jesus, we crown you king of kings and lord of lords. We're bought with a price, redeemed by blood. So we pledge our allegiance to you, Jesus. All eyes on the King. All eyes on the King. woke up about a week ago with a strange phrase just running through my mind and it was strange enough that I didn't I didn't even tell Becky about it for a couple days because I just didn't know what to do with it so I'm just going to give it all to you the, the phrase was this two hungry notes meeting in the middle. So I didn't say angry. I said hungry. And I just was like, Lord, what? I, I don't think I would think that up. I don't wake up, honestly, with clear thoughts. I'm usually pretty foggy for a good 45 minutes to an hour. But I'm like, Lord, what does this mean? And my mind instantly goes to music notes. And if you think about harmony, 
we could have all different kinds of notes which by themselves are beautiful but if I play my note and you play your note and they're not in the same key they sound ugly <laughs> but when all eyes are on the king and the Holy Spirit is the conductor and the tuning fork is the cross those notes because we're hungering and thirsting after one, because our eyes are fixed on the king, they all come together, and that's what we call harmony, or even unison, it's one sound. You know, it's really hard to harbor bitterness in your heart when your eyes are on the king. It's really hard to be offended when your eyes are on the king, because <laughs> all that stuff just gets really small <laughs> in the light of his face. And so, as we've been pursuing as a church body and a community, true unity, biblical unity as God defines it, which isn't a, a laying of side of truth just so we can all get along, but it's pursuing love in the midst of that, asking the Father who is love himself to pour his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit as we commit ourselves to that and as all eyes are fixed on the King that's unison that's one sound that's true harmony and so that's what I want to encourage us in this season keep your eyes fixed on the King because he's worthy So we just say, you're worthy, Jesus, of all our love, all our affection. Even that word note, I had to look this up. It can also mean an emotion or an expression. Like if you think about a a meeting that ends on a high note that has to do with a, an emotion or a, an expression. And all of us carry a part of the Father's heart. We carry an expression of even the image of God. But those all have to come into submission under the King. And that's where you get the one sound. It's two hungry notes, right? The key is hunger. If I'm hungering after him, if I'm thirsting after righteousness, that's where everything begins to come into right alignment. But when I insist on my own way, even if it's a good way, that's where we start to diverge. And that's what you call dissonance. You know when you hear it in music, because it's ugly. <laughs> and is it possible that as we've been releasing all our sounds as individual and as beautiful as they are, if we're not in submission, and if we're not fixed on the king, is it possible we've been releasing some ugly sounds? I'm humble enough to admit that I've probably released some ugly sounds, maybe even this week. <laughs> so we fix our eyes on you, Jesus, and we let the cross be our tuning fork, the measuring line. Take up your cross, daily and follow me so we do that we lay our lives before you Jesus we honor you because you're worthy because you're the only worthy one all eyes on the king we love you Jesus
too quickly past this moment. Just take another minute. Just respond to the Lord. Sometimes we get in a hurry. So I went down there, met up with them and Lonnie and Tosh, and I just did not want to go there. And it was one of those moments where you kind of know that the Lord's going to do something because out of all the different times you could have backed out, you did it anyways. And I just had this judgmental attitude on me. I'm like, what is this? And uh, I just had a check in my spirit, and you know, I asked the Lord to just um, extend some grace and mercy and so I started with a, a devotional, and we we were able to bless those that came. And I was reminded of the scripture in, in Romans 15, 19. It says, by the power of signs and wonders, through the power of the Spirit of God. So from Jerusalem all the way around to Illyricum, I have fully proclaimed the gospel of Christ. And I, I had that in mind when I was there, and I, I just was asking the Lord to do something extraordinary for these people that came and that I might be a vessel even with me doing something I wasn't super enthusiastic about doing. And there's this man who uh, who was rough around the edges, to say the least. And um, I was ministering to him, and all that stuff just broke off when I was walking in what the Lord wanted me to walk in. And he just put me on like a glove. And I was able to lead this guy to the Lord. And uh, he was an older gentleman, and, you know, he lives on the street, what have you. And, and I'm just explaining in the best words I knew how, what the gospel was, and how much Jesus loved him, and how he is valuable, and he's a priceless gem in the eyes of the Father. And there's, and there's still time for him to fulfill the call in his life. And I'm sharing this with him, and he was so engaged and so interested. And then I, I, I led him in, in the Lord's Prayer to receive, you know, forgiveness and to be born again. And he just repeated some words, and he received Jesus. And he kind of had that look afterwards. He was like, what's next, right? Like, what do I do now, you know? And I said, well, hey, there's something else. And you can be baptized in the Holy Spirit and in the fire. And I just shared some, some scripture with him. And I can't even put language to the manifest presence of God that fell on me when I just lightly touched this man's shoulder and I prayed for Holy Spirit to come. And he just lit this guy up. And he lit me up. And uh, I say all that to say this. As we head into the new year, we have goals, we have aspirations. Some mountains seem unscalable. Some things just seem too daunting to take on and against our own flesh and our own uh, things that we want to do. To step out in faith and he just meets us where we're at and go to the one and be willing to just be vulnerable and say, hey, I don't know how much I have, but I'll give you what I have. And just a simple act of prayer and then God just gently and tenderly kind of pushes you aside and then the king shows up. And the whole time I was fearing, is this guy going to receive this? And I felt like the Lord say, so many of my people are trying to defend the caged lion. Just unlock the door. Unlock the door to the caged lion. And when I unlocked that door, he came. And a man was changed right before my eyes. So I encourage all of us to step into the new year with humility and love and grace and unlock the door to the lion. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity to, to gather. Lord, as we begin this new year, we just ask you to do what only you can, Lord. Put us on like a glove, Lord. Help us to walk in the anointing for your glory, for your honor. May the gospel advance. You had me come up here and put that flag on that talks about the fire of Flint, Lord. We all have been praying for this. We've all been just stepping forward to, to do this. And Lord, I just pray that we'd be like Jacob as we wrestle with you. And may we just cling to you and not let you go until you just pour out that blessing, Lord. So I pray for each person here, each family, every bloodline, Lord. May you equip us and empower us. May we walk with an enthusiasm and an anointing unknown to man, Lord. And I just pray that we would fix our eyes on you. And Holy Spirit, you have full access. We love you, we praise you, we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Well, it's good to see everybody.